guys welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new i'm jamaya so in today's video i'm showing you guys how i normally do a full glam on my small hooded eye clients so if you guys want to see how i got this a lovely look then make sure you guys subscribe to my channel first let's just go ahead and get started into this video Starting off with the base, I like to start off with using a good moisturizer. I normally ask my clients if they have combination oily, dry skin, so I can know what kind of moisturizer and primer to use. But um, I'll link the products that I use down below because I really don't remember um, everything. But for primer, I use the Wet n Wild Matte Primer. And yeah, I'm gonna just putting that all over her face just to kind of start off with the base. And for brows, I like to go into brows next. So I'm just brushing out her brows. And when you're a makeup artist, always use disposable products. That is like the best way to go. So you won't have any germs or anything. But yeah, I'm just brushing out her brows, kind of filling them in as I go. Her brows are pretty much already thick and are full. So I'm just kind of like getting little areas and just making sure that they look pretty good. So yeah, that's just what I'm doing now. It's just filling in her brows. So now to clean up her brows, I'm just using two shades of the concealers. And the first concealer that I used, which is the color that's closer to her skin tone, was the Revlon concealer. And the one that is a little lighter than her skin tone is the Wet n Wild concealer. So um, like I said before, I'll just link all the products that I use down below. But I used two different types just to kind of give it a highlight and also give it that sharpness look in the brows but um yeah so i'm just dragging those two concealers down towards the eyelid moving on to the base i'm just using the p louise base and i think this is in the shade 04 and i'm just blending that out all over her eye with the brush that i used and then i'm going to go over with a sponge just to make sure it's all blended out really nicely on both eyes and the palette we're using today is the Warrior Palette by Juvia's Place. And the first shade we're going into is the shade called Kano. And it's just kind of going to be my transition shade. And I'm just putting this all over her crease and moving it up towards the brow bone. Just making sure that this shade is looking really seamlessly and looking really nice as a transition shade. To deepen up the shade, we're going to use the shade Mino in the palette. And it's just this dark brown shade. And I'm just basically deepening it up a little bit in the crease area and then moving it towards the outer third of her lid. And then just kind of blending in these two colors together just to make them look really smooth and really nice. And I'm just basically doing the same thing on the other eye. So now I'm just taking this blending brush and I'm just blending out these two shades. And I'm also adding in a little bit more of Kano just to kind of blend out these two colors really nicely. So now I'm just going to go ahead and go back into the base to cut the crease. And what I allow my clients to do is to look up to kind of get the shape of the cut crease that I'm going for. Especially if they have like hooded eyes because you want to make sure you get that right shape. Or um, it'll just kind of look weird. So I just kind of allow them to look up and then kind of go from there. But um, yeah, so I basically line up the cut crease and then I drag it down to fill in the rest of the areas on the lid space. And then I tap it in just to make it a little tacky, just so the glitters or whatever shade you use on the lid space can stick better. So now I'm just going in the shade Dahomey, I think that's how you pronounce it. And I'm just putting that right on the middle area of the lid space just to kind of start off the look that I'm going for for the lid space. And then I'm just going to continue to go back in just to kind of fill in the middle area of the lid space. Now going back in the shade Mino just to blend out the outer area of her lid and kind of just smoking it out in a way. But um, I actually went back into the palette and went into the shade called Benin and it's like this dark brown shimmer shade and I thought it would be so cute to kind of blend in like kind of make it ombre-ish but you know still have it look a little cute or whatever on the outer area. So I just put a little bit on top of the shade Mino. So now I just went in that shade called Idea and I'm just putting that on the inner corner of her lid space and I'm just kind of blending that outward towards the shade Dahomey. And basically that's it for the eye space right now. I am just going to go ahead and move on to the other side of the eye, just kind of cutting the crease and making sure I get it really nice, really precise and really sharp. 
now going in the shade Dahomey and I'm just putting that on the middle section like last time and just pretty much making sure it looks really nice. Um, I just really like the gold on her skin tone. I don't know about y'all, but I'm really, really digging the gold on this skin. It looks really nice, really good. So now I'm just moving on to the shade Benin and I'm putting that on the outer corner and also mixing it in with that shade Mino just to deepen it up on the outer corner a little bit. And finally going in with the shade Idea just to blend in on the inner corner and also mix it in with the middle shade. And now we're just going back to the outer corner with the shade Mino just to deepen up the outer corner. Trying to make it look a little bit more darker on the outer section of her eyes and just to make sure everything's like well blended on the outer area. I wanted to spice up this look a little bit and add some glitter chunks and a little glitter pigment. So I am starting off by using some lash glue and this is kind of like my little trick to keep the glitter to stay on like a long time. So I'm just taking a little lash glue to whatever section I want to add on the glitter pigment and I just tap it in lightly with my fingers and then I'm just adding in the glitter chunks by Flutter by Row. And if you guys aren't familiar with their glitter pigments, you guys should definitely go check them out. I'll link their Instagram down below. But um, yeah, I'm just adding in some of those glitter chunks and just add in small little glitter pigments. I'm using the NYX Cosmetics glitter pigment. And I'm just tapping that in on the inner corner and then moving that towards the outer corner. So I just added in the Flutter by Rogue glitter chunks on the middle, just kind of spice it up a little bit and then add in a little bit of glitter chunks to add in a little bit of detail on the inner corner. And I'm basically doing the same thing to the other eye. And the lash glue does not irritate your eyes at all. So um, just want to let you guys know that. And then I tap it in just a little bit. Not too harsh because you don't want to get rid of the actual base that you kind of created with the glitter pigments. Well, the glitter shades that we used. And then now I'm just adding on the glitter pigments just how I did on the other eye. All right, so now I'm just wiping away any of the extra glitter that I have around the eye and basically all the fallout, just wiping that off with the makeup wipe. So I'm just cleaning up my little areas or whatever. And now moving on to the foundation and the foundation that I'm using is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the shade 370. And I'm just applying this with a disposable wand. And like I said before, if you guys are makeup artists, please invest in some disposable items is the best way to go. Now I'm just using a color corrector right up under her eyes just to kind of even out her eye tone on the under eyes. Now I'm just blending out that foundation with a buffing brush first and it's the Real Techniques brush. I forgot what number, but it's their buffing brush. And now I'm just blending out that foundation so now I'm just going to basically blend out with a sponge and basically blending out with a brush and a sponge helps this look really nice and really smooth, like have a smooth finish. So I just blend out with a brush first and then I ended off with a sponge. Moving on to concealer, I'm using the same exact concealers that I used to clean up her brows with. And now I'm using the Revlon Candidate Concealer first just to kind of match up with her skin tone. And I'm just putting that on her under eyes, on her nose, and on her chin. And now I'm just taking that lighter shade just to brighten up under her under eyes and on the bridge of the nose and on the chin area with that Wet n Wild concealer. And I think that is in the shade medium, deep, tan, I forgot. But um, yeah, I'm just kind of brightening up on her under eyes. So putting that right on top of the other concealer that we just used. And now I'm just basically blending out these concealers. And as you guys can tell, it didn't really like make it look too bright or too dark. It's just like just right on her skin tone. So that's basically what I do is I use like one closer to the skin shade and then one brighter just to kind of even out the concealer and make it look really nice. So now what I'm doing is kind of blending out the two areas, which was the chin and the nose. And now I'm adding in the setting powder. And the setting powder that I use is the Maybelline Fit Me setting powder. And I really don't know what shade it is, but I think it's the 35 medium deep, something like that. But now I'm just going into the eyes and I'm just blending out the first eye first. And kind of making sure that the concealer is really set into the skin first. And then I go ahead and go into the setting powder just to set the face really quick so we don't have any creasing or anything. And now I'm just doing the same thing to the other eye. And basically the reason why I did this, especially on clients, is because I don't want it to like crease or anything and then make it look a little weird, you know. So I just kind of tap in on the concealer first and then make sure I blend that out really well and then 
pat on the powder and now i'm just going to go ahead and bake and really the baking just kind of helps the powder set in so it can be really matte especially if you guys have like oily skin so yeah so now i'm just going into the black radiance bronzing palette and this is for the deep to dark skin tones and i'm using that middle shade just to bronze up her face really nicely and as you guys can tell it has her face looking really snatched like i love this little bronzing palette it is so 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 good on all skin tones and um yeah so now i'm just basically doing the same thing to the other side kind of bronzing up her face and look how good it looks like it looks so freaking good so yeah that's just what i'm doing so now i'm just taking a clean brush and i'm just wiping away all the excess powder just getting rid of all that powder that i had on her eyes and on her nose and pretty much on her t-zone area so that's basically what i'm doing now and now i'm just moving on to the blush and basically i just swirl all of these colors together just to make a really nice color and i'm just putting these right on her cheeks and now going back into the bronzing palette and i'm taking that highlighter which is so freaking bomb and i'm just highlighting her face on the bridge of her nose on the tip of her nose on the side of her cheek and y'all just look at that glow it looks so freaking good and now i'm just doing it on the other side as well and yeah that's basically it for the highlighter So now I'm just setting her face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and when I tell y'all I should have used this setting spray a long time ago, like it is so good. And I'm just fanning her face and just patting in the setting spray into her skin. Now I'm just going in with the Kiss Naked Drama Lashes and I'm just kind of measuring it out on her eyes and just making sure that it fits. And since her eyes are a little bit smaller, I did have to cut off a little few pieces. So that's basically what I'm doing right now is just kind of measuring it out just to make sure it fits her eyes really well. So while that lash glue is drying, I'm just going to go ahead and go into the lips. And basically what I like to use is I like to use the um, NYX Butter Glosses. So I like to use the dark brown shade of the Butter Glosses first to kind of line her lips up. And then I like to go in with that middle shade. Um, I really don't even remember the names of these Butter Glosses, but I'll link them down below. But I'm just using that middle shade of the Butter Gloss on the inner area of her lips kind of make it like an ombre neutral type of color but um yeah that's basically all i do for the lips so now going back with the lashes i'm just applying these right on top of her lash line and i also did add in mascara before um, putting on her lashes so you'll see that in like the next clip or whatever but i add on mascara first to her lash line and i did use a disposable use disposable guys especially you guys are makeup artists but um yeah i'm just adding in some mascara just kind of allowed the real lashes to stick with the fake lashes so yeah just adding in some mascara and then adding on the lashes and i really really think these lashes were perfect for this look because it like set it off so well and yeah so after just pinching the real lashes and fake lashes together i am basically done with this look Alrighty, you guys so this is the final look and if you guys have enjoyed this video then make sure you guys give me a big thumbs up comment down below for more makeup artist style videos like these and if you guys have not subscribed already then please be sure you are subscribed to my channel thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys for all your support now see you guys in my next video bye